Hello, stamping friends. This is Jenny from Celebrate the Journey, and I am joining you virtually today. This is a recorded video um, from because we're on vacation, and I didn't want you to not have some card making inspiration. So, since there's nobody to wait on, we'll just get started. Now, you've seen me use this spruced up for lots of cards already, but I still had a few more I wanted to share with you. There might even be more in the future. I don't know. I just love this set because it's different. It's, um, it's so simple. It makes you have to be a little more creative with your um, thinking and what you can make with it, and there's so many things you can make. So we're going to make two cards today. Yeah, two. And um, they're both very simple Christmas cards. I think you'll like them. So let's get started. I'm also going to use the Stamparatus today. Um, so we're going to use this tree. And I chose a sentiment that says Merry and Bright. And it's from the Sweet Candy Canes. But you could use any Christmas sentiment you wanted, or you could use one of the ones from the set. But I wanted this one. Um, so using the Stamparatus is going to make this pretty quick and easy. I'm going to use Garden Green. I think this is about three by four and a quarter, but I'm not positive. Um, I made this card a couple days ago, and I don't remember the measurements. But the good thing about the Stamparatus, I can see this already did not get real inky on one side. It's a little lighter over here, so we're going to ink it up again. And it will um, give us a second chance. I finally made it to the store and got just a regular dry erase marker. It helps to um, use it to smooth this out. You're not having to use your palm so much. Oh, there's our tree. Isn't that beautiful? Nice and dark and um, covered well. Especially when it's a solid image like that, you usually need to ink it about twice. Now, I've already lined these up. I made that a little easier. So our Merry and Bright is going to go right there at the bottom. And I'm using so Sweet Sorbet for this, which is a red. It's a nice red. And that inked up very nicely. Now we can take this out. I'll measure this for you in just a second. And we're not going to use this anymore. So this is the good thing both about the Stamparatus. You can take the plates out and um, not have to worry about the hinges. And let's put this over here. Now I deliberately made that off center there. Don't think. I stamped wrong. That's three, and it's five and a half, four and a half. Sorry, not four, but four and a half, not four and a quarter. So there's a little star that goes with this um, stamp set, and there's a little package. So that's where our package is going to go, right there. And I didn't, I could have put it on the Stamparatus. But I decided I'd just do it by myself this time. And then we'll get some Daffodil Delight and stamp a star at the top. That probably needs to be on the Stamparatus because I don't know that I can get that right. I think that, there, that's not bad. Now all we have to do is put this card together. And that's pretty cool. So let's see here. I have a piece of garden green to layer that. 
had an extra piece in case I messed up. <laughs> Always got to be prepared. The Girl Scout way. And we'll just put some Tombow on here too. Adhere that. And then this is the Sweet Candy Cane paper and that's going to cover be our whole card front this time should have made sure that was creased good I think it is. Yeah. So there's our whole card front. This is not going to have any ribbon. It's just going to be a very simple card because uh, if you're in a hurry, I mean, you're needing to get these done. It's Thanksgiving and you've got cards to finish up. This is one that you could do very, very quickly and mass produce using that Stamparatus. So that's the, um, the good thing about these cards, is they're all very pretty quick and easy. We will put a little bling on here. That's not too time consuming. And there's our card. Now I think, I'm pretty sure, yeah, I got some red, a little bit of red rhinestones left here. We'll get our take a pick tool. If you don't have this, put this on your Christmas wish list so that um, your, friend, your friends and family know that you need one for Christmas. And we'll put one maybe right about here by this package. And there's our card. Now the only thing left to do is find a sentiment for the inside. And um, I'd probably put another little package in there. Looks like a piece of lint. There we go. Um, on the inside. So when I post the pictures of these, I will show you the inside of this card. All right, that's our first card. Let's put our rhinestones away. We'll need them again in a minute. And our second card, we're not going to use the Stamparatus. We could. Um, let me get these little papers out of the way. But I think um, we can probably do this one without the Stamparatus. So I just have, we're going to use this package. Now this, the great thing about this is this card can be Christmas. We're using Christmas paper. Switch it out, it can be birthday. Um, because everybody likes packages for their birthday. So... I have a smaller front piece. This is five by three and a uh, three fourths. And so then this is just one and a half inches. And we're going to put a little border of green. And this is the candy cane paper again. I left this a little longer than the card front so I could in case I needed to move it around some and if it then I can snip it off with my paper snips. I love this paper that looks like candy canes. I love candy. What's your favorite candy cane flavor? I like all flavors but I love the spearmint. The green green and white. That's my favorite. If 
but peppermint's always good too. So now we can just snip this off with our paper snips. Put this to the side. Now I have the word Merry Christmas. And this is from the Celebration Tags. But any Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays that you have. I just wanted a large sentiment there. We'll use the um, Sweet Sorbet again. I hope we, yeah, we did a good job there. Right now we'll be ready to cut our packages. We're going to cut a sweet sorbet and a um, garden green. And I believe we can do both at the same time. We'll just run those, we'll run it through more than once just to get a good cut. I'll run this through the cut and emboss machine. like they work pretty good. Let's poke them out and make sure. They have those little rectangles I suppose you could save for something else but I don't know what. <laughs> I probably won't save them. And then these little bunny ears. Now our packages look kind of plain now, but we're going to dress them up with some wrapping paper. So this is how we're going to do that. We're going to cut two more. And this time we're going to use some paper that has a pattern to it. And we can do both of those at the same time. And run those through the machine. This paper is much thinner, so it's going to just cut real easy. thing about this is you end up with enough to do um, extra cards if you want because you can you can use this piece if I can separate them there we go it's thin paper so these have the decoration you could use the solid piece if you wanted to you know make another card you could do that so we're going to go use these pattern pieces that we got though do need to separate those and so let's go ahead and put this on our card front so we, once we start gluing things down, we won't have to mess around with it. We'll give them time to dry. And I should have gotten out one of those sheets for this. Um, the big foam sheets, but I didn't remember it. This 
hard to remember everything when we're stamping. We're having too much fun. Like I said, these are both pretty simple cards. You know, just having that layer here and having it raised gives you some little extra interest on your card front. So let's put our little packages on. We'll just use a dab of Tombow, like on the corners. And we'll put them. You see how you could have this say, Happy Birthday, and not have Christmas paper. So we're going to fill some Tombow in there. And we're going to put the green paper on the red package. You want that contrast. I will tell you, I tried this with some of the striped paper. It was too busy. Um, so I think a smaller pattern works the best. Or you could do solid. Um, it just seemed... The stripes I thought would look cute, but they were too big and too busy. So you don't have to worry about trying that because you, I've told you already. Okay, now we'll put the red ones in here. And now we can find our little red rhinestones. And we'll add some bling on here. Let's see if we can move that over a little bit. There we go. And these are all leftovers from something, so I have to do some searching. So there's our second card. So this was real quick. Just a few minutes and we've got two fun little easy peasy Christmas cards. So if you're looking for a quick last minute um, stamp set, I think that the spruced up bundle might just fit the bill for you. So, thanks for joining me today. Leave me some comments, and I will answer them as soon as I see them. Bye.